a table listing bank accounts open at a St. George branch with the date open, day opened, opening balance, account type, which is checking, savings, or CDs, and the staff member responsible for opening the account. Here's how to apply conditional formatting. And please stay until the end of the video as we will increase gradually the level of difficulty. First, let's highlight the accounts opened by Tina. Select the data right below the header or select the first row, then Control Shift Down. Go to the Home tab and choose Conditional Formatting, then New Rule. Select Use a formula to determine which cells to format. In the formula box, enter equal dollar sign F53 equal Dentina in double quotes. When working in conditional formatting, we insert dollar signs in most of the columns, so they stay fixed, and we skip the headers. Choose a highlight color and click OK. We see that Tina's accounts are selected. So let's move on to our next example. Highlighting checking accounts open on June 2nd. Now we have two options to meet. June 2nd as the date and the checking accounts. This is where the AND and DATE functions will help us. Select the entire table. Go to Conditional Formatting, New Rule. In the formula box, enter equal and open parentheses dollar sign B53 equals to the date, then open parentheses 2023 comma 6 comma 2 close parentheses. Then we separate this with a comma dollar sign again E53 equal checking with double quotes and close parentheses. The date is set to June 2nd, but you could use greater than, less or equal than, or just the opposite, not equal to. After the comma, we entered our second condition. The account types in column E, and the text is entered in double quotes. Let's do a quick check. June 2nd is over here, and it's all correct. To change the rules, go to Conditional Formatting, Manage Rules, then Edit Rule. We're going to modify the formula by inserting the two brackets that you see on the screen, which is not equal to checking. Click OK and Apply. We see now that in June 2nd, checking accounts are not highlighted. To delete the conditional formatting rules for more examples, select the table, conditional formatting, and clear the rules for the selected cells or the entire sheet. Now, there is something strange here. We see accounts open with identical amounts the very same day, like the two accounts of $3,000 on June 2nd. We're going to find duplicates and using the count ifs function and ask Excel to count the rows only if the amounts appear more than once the same day. Press Ctrl A, then Shift down to skip the headers, go to Conditional Formatting and New Rule. It's equal count ifs, open parentheses, B53 with dollar signs through B65, comma, then B53, comma, D53 to D65 with another comma, then D53, we are going to close parentheses, and it's, this is greater than 1. When using count ifs, after we open the parentheses, we first select where are we counting. In this case, we are counting the column B for dates. After the comma, we ask what are we counting. We are counting from the first cell with dates right after the headers or B53. The second count or search criteria is only counting the entire column D with the same amount. And our starting point is again the very top cell after the header or D53. Last but not least is to tell Excel what is the condition for counting. 
we are asking to only count the rows with the same dates and amounts if they appear more than once. So we close parentheses and enter greater than 1. We keep putting breaks for the columns with the dollar signs so they stay fixed and don't run over other cells. When working with conditional formatting, we need this extra step. It all looks good, click apply and OK. Let's pause for a moment and check that we're only seeing in yellow the same dates and amounts. So three accounts of 3000 in June 2nd and two of 500 in August 6th. So now we can continue. We are cleaning up the rules to show you our last and more advanced example. This time we're highlighting date ranges. When it comes to date ranges, the formula might seem intimidating, but this is just another AND function. And please, don't feel intimidated about subscribing to our channel. We appreciate your support very much and we'll give you more tips. Thank you. We are going to break down the formula in the screen. You can see it right below. Before we start, the dates need to be inside the date function. So July 4 is now date with parentheses 2023,7,4 and then let's move to the next one. August 6th is now date open parentheses 2023,8,6 and close. Remember that the dates start in the cell B53 and we add the break in the column so it's now dollar sign B53. Let's type equal and and we're gonna open parentheses. Inside the function, we want the B53 greater or equal than our first date, July 4th, inside the date function. We are done with the first part, type comma, and then B53 again, because we're working with the second date in the same column. In our second part, we want B53 to be less or equal than our second date, which is August 6th. Press enter, all the parentheses look good, and here we have Let's use the autofill to drag down this formula and check the results. Alright, it works! See the true values right next to the rows between July 4th and August 6th. We can now copy and paste. Select the cell, then Ctrl C. Press escape to exit the edit mode and now go into conditional formatting. If you have made it this far, you probably know by heart the steps to get to that formula box. Click inside the box and press Ctrl V. Let's check and insert a color. Click apply and see if the results are there. You can click on manage rules, edit to make any changes. Notice that in this example, it was pointing to G53 so I had to reselect the table that I needed so the rule would apply to just that. Now I'm going to click apply and it's all good now. So make sure that you click on the current selection, check the syntax of the formula and also where it's pointing to. Let us know in the comment what other content in Excel or technology would you like to see in our channel. Thank you once again for your support and see you in the next video.